combat zone. Winter Soldier. The battlefield is calling. Uh, cool. Ooh, it's comfy as fuck. Yeah, no, dude. It was the comfiest commentary session yeah. I'm gonna I will ever have. Over here. Don't do that. I need I need somebody here with me. I need you to keep me company. Anyway, <laughs> what's up, dudes? We're here at Weapon X Summit here for Christopher Lent's birthday. The man, the myth, the legend, who's about to play first to ten for a hundred dollars versus St. Louis's own Ben Two. Battle of Soldiers. For sure, for sure. This is going to be a Winter Soldier mirror match. Winter Soldier Zero versus Winter Soldier Strider. Both with Soulstone, as you can see. Hopping right on in. Birthday Boy's actually... He was training Bin 2. Mm -hmm. Bin 2 was feeling himself. Ready. And uh, this came about. Got, got a little hot, and then this is the result. Right. Well, we're going to see a lot of gunshots going into this. A lot of arms. Oh, Hard block. Good, good, block. good, good block on that block for sure. So he's gonna want to just keep zero back there. All right, we got confirms. All right. So yeah, I don't know if I would like to have Strider against really either of these characters. Strider apparently does really good against Winter Soldier. Stealth really likes this matchup. He will he will pick zero Strider against Bucky's because uh, he did it in a combo breaker against Bane. Um, yeah. Uh, it's because of Vajra, apparently, and like cross up teleport. Like, uh, I don't. It doesn't beat it, but he can kind of just keep doing it. <laughs> like, uh, I was whenever I was watching him, I can't remember who he was playing. He was playing him a Winter Soldier player in the Gauntlet, and he was just Vajra attack, Vajra attack, and like over and over again. I guess it would. So his uppercuts don't hit directly above him. Mm -hmm. So I guess Winter Soldier doesn't necessarily have a good yeah. answer for it. He could backdash. He could backdash arm. Yeah. Or backdash like guns. But like even that, on whiff, it's, it's like kind of safe. Like it's, yeah, it's not that unsafe. Okay, and tag will keep you safe. I can see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> arm versus that's, arm. That's that's the Winter Soldier mirror right there. They're neither one. Everybody of them getting punched. Combos. Come on. All right, but this, this should, be, should dead. be a dead character. I'm sure we're gonna see an immediate Soul Storm activation here. He's not gonna want to deal with this mix and possibly lose without activating. Oh, he's not gonna let him though. Yeah, Chris really likes to activate to keep somebody mm -hmm. else from activating, especially since these characters work super well together. Mm -hmm. He can lock down with Winter Soldier, which I'm surprised he's not doing. Oh, he doesn't have meter. Yeah, that's normally like the first thing he'll go for as soon as he has the opportunity. 
He's hit. Yep. Oh, but pick Ooh. up the strider. This yep. might be a dead zero. Good awareness there. No, oh, he doesn't doesn't have it. mistimed that. And a happy birthday. Oh, and he got them both. If he has a happy birthday combo, no. That should have been dead. He could have just. Oh, and he gets clipped. No level three, though. So he honestly got off there a little bit easy. Yep. Yeah, oh, no, he got over. So that moves you forward enough. And zero pizza cutter, that'll just beat it free. Target destroyed. Yeah, so birthday right. boy got one. All right, that is one up. And you'll notice if either one of these people get a good lead, both of them have a problem with tilting. Mm -hmm. So they're whoever, both very momentum based players. If they start feeling themselves and they start going, they are going to probably take it away. Mm -hmm. But that was a that was a pretty neck and neck game. So, yeah. but once once that first. Uh, that first person runs away with the game. I'm sure we'll, we'll see. We'll see a trend. We'll start trying to force their game plan mm -hmm. instead of just reacting to the opponent. Right now, Chris is doing a really good job of not letting either of Ben's characters actually start any of their game. Which is kind of what you have to do if you give them if you give them space. That's when these characters become very scary. Yeah. Unfortunately, Chris is good. Confirm his main combos. That's a good counter switch, but he doesn't pick it up. Yeah, that's one of the things about nerves, and this is uh, definitely a match to be nervous about. There's a lot of money on the table. Oh, cross up, not cross up. And these two yeah, also no. both have very, very different Winter Soldiers, and you'll, yeah. you'll notice that. Chris loves to stay in the air. Oh, kill him, kill him. Ooh. He didn't kill Winter Soldier, he wanted to put pressure on Strider and got punished for it. Let your boy heal. Do not tag Winter Soldier in there. Uh, he activated Orboros. I like it. Just keep pressure. Just keep pressure. Keep pressure. Yeah, he's, he's hit. I don't oh, like oh that. the I don't Orboros. Like because Winter Soldier dies. Ooh. Like, I get one to keep him safe. But. Oh, he'll still get soul because it's about to run out. So mm -hmm. it doesn't matter now. That was good. Ooh, yeah, that was, that was smart. Because he obviously couldn't he couldn't do anything. Like, he couldn't jump out. He probably would have gotten clipped. Could be a dead zero. For sure. Some decent damage on Winter Soldier. He's going to have Soul Storm coming in here, though. Is he going to Orboros? Yep. And Ventus uh, team is bleeding here, so yeah. we'll see what happens. But that's a good hit. Oh, <laughs> Orboros absorbed the, uh, the Buster shot. Oh. oh, that was weird. He's just trying to get that overhead real bad. Good kill. Oh, that's that's gonna be it. Yeah, for sure. All right, another close game. But that's gonna be game two to Christopher Lang. They're both leaving a lot of damage on the table so far. Maybe nerves getting to him. Maybe they, I'd be nervous. They're playing, they're playing Marvel three. You know, got to get those yeah, fingers sure. back up. Yeah. Not trying to plink dash anymore. I know Ben too was warming up. I saw him playing. He's taking this seriously. He's trying. He shouldn't be trying to slash against Winter Soldier. He's trying to do the full screen Graham. I think that's just muscle memory, and because how many, how many, how many Buckies do you think he fights? So he should have been training for a hundred dollar money match. Definitely, yeah. Is that gonna? Okay, I thought that grenade was gonna pick it up. That was, that was, I was about to have a salty commentator moment. I don't know what he was trying right there. Ooh, good blocks. Good blocks. Yeah. So what I was saying earlier, the difference between these two is. Chris will, his Bucky, he loves staying airborne, jumping around, like yep. making you really, really have to think about how to reflect him properly. Uh, Bentu really prefers staying on the ground with that arm. Yep. He, li he likes making those hard reads with the rifle. You can see Chris's firebrand from Marvel 3 in his <laughs> Winter Soldier. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Over. He is dropping stuff up crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, he's starting. He oh, has, no. That could have been really bad, and that's it's gonna well, stay bad. What were you pressing? Oh, he just gets clipped. So he ha he should have had time to. Ooh, jump that did a lot of damage. On that. Oh, it does. It's stupid. Yeah, it does it a lot stupid. of damage. You can only set it up in certain scenarios, but. Ah, uh, no, I, he's he's alive. 
He's definitely alive. Because he can level three after this. Let's go. Wait. There's reset. Okay, yeah, with the reset, he's dead. But I, if he would have, if if he would have blocked out of that, I think he would have been fine. However, this is where you might see the, the the turning point in the pace of these matches because that was pretty quick. Yep. So let's see if uh, Ben Two can compose himself here for for game four. Uh, slow down the pace of the match a little bit. Make sure he's hitting these confirms and not dropping his combos because that's what's really killing him. Yep. I think what he needs to think about is if he's facing zero with Strider, he needs to cover the air with grenades so that he, because right now zero approaches Strider free. Mm -hmm. He's not covering anything. Throw those fucking, can I cuss on here? I'm doing this. Yes, much. you can. No, yeah, okay. we're, we're good. We, we don't have to restrain ourselves. All right. Uh, like that grenade that covers up the top part, throw those out every once in a while so he can't just come in and pizza cutter free. Looks like you got a story to tell. Use your... When you're facing Winter Soldier, if you want to move and you need to get Winter Soldier out and mm -hmm. you don't have Vajra tag, he needs to do the upward, um, whatever it's called, where you dive kick upward. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm terrible with name, guys. I'm sorry. I know the game. I just can't remember names of shit. The whatever. I can't, I can't even remember anymore. Where he, like, shoulder dashes up yeah, diagonal. This yeah. is upward dive, dive kick. All right, but this is... Uh, not the character you want to be bleeding this early. Oh, oh and that's that the reset. Oh, punish. Oh, that was a happy birthday. I talked to him on Thursday about needing to get his happy birthday combos down. Yeah, uh, the one thing, though, I don't think his team happy birthdays that well. You can happy birthday with him. Winter Soldier happy birthday is like a chain. I know he does, but like Strider? Strider, I'm pretty sure you can loop um, the downward. Well, yeah, he, he can do the loops. I mean, like, so, like, after you get that first combo, I, his team doesn't reset into good good uh, yeah. positions that well. But you can do um, end it in Ragnarok, Ooh, tag was... in Winter Soldier, then do a couple things, do a couple fists with Winter Soldier, restand the, uh, the assist, then go into a lockdown. Yeah. I've been meaning to do some happy birthday practice with my team, too, and... Uh, it's definitely the potential is easier to see with my team. I, I, it's he's gonna have to get a little creative with his for sure. All right, we've got the the non-meta meta, the super tag. So he could have jumped out on that last one. When he push blocked, Zero was back. Mm -hmm. There's enough of a gap between that last shot and the grenade. He can super jump yeah. out and just be out of there. There's definitely such a thing as being too careful against uh, against that super. Mm -hmm. All right, has he got the blocks? Yes, he does. Blocking well, blocking well. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. He had to know it was coming eventually, and that's going to be game four. And like I was saying a second ago, look at the health on, on Chris. Yep. Hardly got touched. So he's, he's getting scared to move. He's trying to hit buttons instead of moving. When you are scared to do things on Strider, you're going to start to lose because that is one of his biggest strengths is the ability to just, just move in ways that other people can't challenge with Vajra, with with tel teleport, with the cross up teleport, it's a little you can you can challenge that sometimes. But like Vajra tag, if you get scared out of doing that, then then you're gonna have a He's really really rough time. Get the grenades out. There you go. There, there you go. go. Convert. Okay, that was that was a little rough. That was a little weird. Ah, uh, which one? Oh wow. Okay, so you just can't do that in the mirror at all. Honestly, Bucky. What he could have done is done the non-super uppercut. Yeah. He would have ate it. Yeah, for sure. So right there, he can jump out. Ooh, okay. Let's happy see him take advantage of this happy birthday. Uh, well, he out. couldn't really do anything about that. He, you can see on his face he's getting frustrated with it. He knows he missed it. You can't, you can't, if you miss something like that, okay, know that you did it, but don't think about it. Yeah, for sure. That was really, that was out of his control. Zero was really low. He yep. was going to fall out of that. Watch your grenade. Yeah, that's one thing a lot of the newer Bucky players are gonna forget about, and that's what's gonna catch them a lot. That's actually one of the things. The last time I beat oh, Chris, he, he needs to be on top of those reflex. Yep. Good block. Right. There you go. That that, that, that's the kind of reflex you need to see, and that that was that's definitely good. a panic level one. But, but it ended up working out for him. A level one into Vajra if they're super jump height, trying to do something to lock you down. Mm -hmm. uh, a little uh, high on that combo. I don't like that at all. Because now he's yeah, dead. Yeah, now he's, he's going to get both of them. That's going to be a dead winner soldier. 
All right, he's gonna probably activate Soul here, maybe. Okay, no, because I was gonna say I don't, I wouldn't agree with it really if he did, just because of how low Winter Soldier was. Oh god, what's happening? All right, that's perfectly okay, because oh well, it depends if he gets hit here. Ooh, I wonder if that was a push block. He's not going to be able to kill here. He's going to have a Soulstorm activation immediately. I'm okay with that. that he has a lot of meter to burn. Get his damage. I don't like that, though. Because he's going to fall he's out. He's going to flip out. He can tag, and he's going to get at least one oh, mix-up. Oh, wait. Is this? Okay. He should have used the mix-up opportunity. All right. But Zero's bleeding, so he has to be careful about how he pressures here. Okay, and he got him. That's it. That's a, yeah, that's a dead character. Level three. All right, that's five straight for Chris Lynn. I would like to see Ben two take a minute, go to character select, compose himself. Breathe. Yeah, just breathe for a minute. Don't go right back into the match. Uh, let's let's see let's see if he does that because I when you're five games down in a first to ten to set, you got to really really take a second, look back, see what you're doing, that's costing you these games and fix it. Part of it, he needs to let his voice heal. Mm -hmm. He's doing, he's panic supering, which was what killed the Havity right back in. Birthday. Mm -hmm. That was good. Keep that. Yeah. Happy birthday. Keep that. Happy birthday. Those are, those are the situations that, mm, I, don't I don't know like about that. that one. I don't like it at all. The, those are the situations that make his team tricky. Is he His team manipulates that tag system so well uh, just because of the, all the random movement oh. and, and tagging in. Do not grant with that range. Uh, he tried to he tried to reflect you just a little bit late. Those he needs to reflect for sure. Okay, no, don't shoot, don't don't tag and shoot. Yeah. Let yourself drop into the guns. Push block the guns and you will stay in the air. You don't have to worry about high lows. Mm -hmm. You'll drop right before the gap, and the last one you can jump again. You only have to block like two mix-ups. All right, let's see what the mix is. Oh, he went for the instant overhead. Ooh, good blocks, good blocks. Good blocks, good blocks. Yeah. Good push block there at the end. Your teeth. Weird to that lightning whiff. No. Uh, okay, level three, level three, level three. Yeah, there you go. Alright, that's that's gonna be some good damage on zero. Let's see what the setup is here after. Oh, Set that was something weird. up until you can get oh, that's Winter a, Soldier that's a in. Character. Okay, get Winter Soldier in. Let, he, let Strider heal. All right. Ooh. He got these loops. Just confirmed. Oh, oh that he tried. He, he, had, he had the right idea. Uh, he knew he just needed to confirm it. Yeah, that's going to be dead. dead character. That's fine. Oh, oh we dropped. Oh, it Super. Tag. Ooh, wow. Interesting challenge attempt. Just leave me alone. What is happening? Okay. Well... Ben two takes a game. One. Yep, Ben two takes uh, a game. Let's let's see if he can carry that momentum. It was a, it was a little bit it was a little bit rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were def there was definitely some slops, some spaghetti hands on both ends, but uh, we take those. Uh, you just got oh, you just got to ride that momentum because you know if you're dropping stuff and the other person's dropping stuff, they're feeling that too. So you got you got to ride that. You got to take advantage of that, especially whenever you're, you're down. You're down four games on a set like this. Ooh, Ooh. I don't like that. Yeah, especially with the movement of zero. Oh, and he got the cornerback too, and everything. Ooh. Oh, but he drops it. Yeah, he's been he's been trying a new route recently. I mean, he's got to feel comfortable to try some stuff. So those bullets, he should have reflected so he could jump out of this. Yeah, for sure. He's he's definitely. I don't know if he's oh. really fought on the Bucky's outside of uh, Chris every now and then, but uh, it definitely it's kind of showing that he hasn't had the practice against his character. But he plays Bucky. He can go into training room and record something. Yeah, yeah. So he has the execution. That's the one thing I don't have, so I can't practice. I, I need to learn it so that I can practice reflecting like those those uh, hango loops. Yeah. It, it's hard to challenge that. Chris trying to make a point on this one. Mm -hmm. He ain't even mixing it. 
Yeah, he, he's partying. I'm he's I'm fairly sure. I'm gonna give it until Chris gets to seven games until we start to see a teabag. It's definitely gonna come. Oh, that's good. It's he actually stagger pressured, waiting for Chris to push block. Chris has been push blocking a lot. I don't know if he did it on purpose, mm -hmm. but he staggered that pressure, waiting, hoping for the push block. Even if it was accidental, let's hope he realized what happened, so we can try to replicate that in the future. Don't do that because grenade, Ooh, yeah. grenade beats it. Let you should have let Strider heal more. All right. Little little wonky wonky confirms. Ooh, that was, was that a grenade? This is honestly okay. You should let you Strider should, You should get Strider out of here immediately. Get the knockdown tag. Thank you. Don't bring him back in. Just set up All right. Even if you do that, do not tag. Do not. He's getting the hit. Yeah, he, he's just a little reliant, and it's just. Like, Chris just what? needs to, to get a little bit more solid on the defense, and he'd be able to punish him for this. Uh, this should. No, he doesn't have the meter to kill. He, uh, he didn't need defense. He could have uppercutted. Could have push block, wait for the gap, uppercut, Ooh. then soul if he didn't hit him. That's, that's a dead character. Yeah, he still gets to. Oh no, he he, he could he could he pay for that. Oh, he's hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, he refused it for sure. Yeah, I probably got, I probably got hit too. Mm, too far? No. Oh, this character no. this character's broke. That thing reaches half screen. You wild. Ooh. Oh, he can get this. All, all he, he needs this. is one more hit. Oh, there it is. All he's gonna need is one more hit. I'd like to see him set up a bomb Strider. attack. Yeah, get Strider out. Set up bomb attack. Don't even, don't even okay. Bajra, because he, he could have uppercut it. Now Strider's dead. Strider's dead. Now he's got And this is... He's not dead, he's, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah. All right. Game number seven. Five games up. Six. Christopher oh, Lent. Yeah, five games up, sorry. Yeah, my bad. Five games up is Christopher Lent. I'm going to need him to wipe this smirk off his face because this set ain't over yet. Ooh, we got, we got, we got some, we got some shit talk out in the crowd. He got, he just got to let his guys heal. Yeah, that's, that's really, you can't do that against Vice. Yeah. He loves to push buttons on round start and it's just one thing that he's, he, he not, cannot do. So. He is doing a good job reflecting. If you'll notice, Chris is about to fall into a grenade, and then Bintu hits a button, and the grenade goes away. If he just reflected that grenade and waited, mm -hmm. he would be able to hit that's, that. That's, I think, just a matchup experience thing. Like, that's something that I've learned just because I've, I've had to play this matchup so much between these two here in St. Louis uh, that I've learned to just reflect and wait. Uh, but he probably just hasn't played this enough to, to know, like, the little nuances of the matchup yet. Yeah, after I got bodied by Bayonet, uh, combo breaker, I was like, I really need to practice these reflex. Yeah. Why? Uh, lucky that happy birthday knocked him out. Tag. I don't like that level three because that wasn't gonna he's, pick up he's just he was so far ahead of meter. I think he's just he's getting a little he's getting a little ahead of himself. So not he's a good he's idea definitely to feeling a little, a little cocky. Damn, he's, he lost a character for it. Just let Strider heal. Please let Strider heal. All oh, right. man, just get your arm out. Yeah, like, what's Zero going to do? He can slide at him, but if he slides at you, then you can just, just like, up, jump. Just overhead. Or just uppercut. Overhead. It goes over most. Ooh, that's super does a lot. Ooh, he clipped him. Yeah, now just let your boy heal. Let your boy heal. This time he's doing a better job of keeping his health, and you see how much closer it's being. not dropping combos. Yeah. That's also the important part. Good, he got that grenade out there, so now Zero just can't come in. Teleport some more. Get that. It's, it's hard to really convert to full combos in Ouroboros, but you gotta get that chip damage. Uh, uppercut. Hmm? If he teleports, Zero uppercuts. Through or with all the Ouroboros projectiles flying at him? It gets invulnerability. Really? Yeah. I don't know if it'll beat it in the end. On I frame one? Because that's what I mean. Like, like frame because three, they, but they, it's high enough, it's not going to touch zero. Hmm. He I should be able to uppercut him. Hmm. That's what Chat, if you if you know different, 
let me know, but I'm pretty sure you could just uppercut that. Like what I do, what I found out I could do with, uh, with Spencer is I can just do his down forward light punch and I can beat that. Gotcha, I gotcha. I need, I need to do some laughing versus Strider. Definitely, I need, I need to laugh against both these characters, but that's a conversation for another time. We've got first hit going to Ben 2 here. Ben After he took that last game. Definitely leveled up. He's definitely doing better. Mm -hmm. Got but, a little greedy with the setup there. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you can yeah, yeah. you can't arm that. You can arm it if it touches your head, but if it's like anywhere below that, you're gonna get hit. Ar arm can't save you from everything. Just about. Uh, but not everything. Most things. It can't save you from yourself. This is fine. This is fine. All Jump. right. He's gonna he's gonna have to block here. See, he's not reflecting that last bullet. He reflects the last. Or, yep. It trades its minimum. Hmm. Ooh. That could have been that could have been a scary situation. He says. Got this mix. Like so, right here. Something that Ben 2 is not doing is there are actual gaps Ooh, that's in right. Winter Soldier's super. Yeah, he can do left right mix ups. And he's not taking advantage of those. All right, he's just not blocking. He's just getting hit over and over. What are you, what are you doing? Uppercut. He's respecting him way too much. That's another oh. big difference. Chris is using all of his bust out tools fairly often, and it's working out for him. There we go. But the thing is, he's busting out at the wrong time. Yeah, like there. He's busting out when Strider's still out and you don't have a tag to keep yourself safe. You have to keep in mind whether or not you can make yourself safe. Yeah. If you do this bus out, if they expect it, you have to be able to tag. Yeah. Otherwise, you get happy birthday. And one thing he needs to stop doing, he needs to stop trying to challenge dive kick buster release. He's getting caught so much. He got caught there because he put out a button and he's tagged Bucky and tagged him for it. I think he's just getting nervous. Yeah. The things he expects to be able to do, he's not getting off. So yeah. he's just trying anything mm -hmm. without really thinking about what interaction is this going to yeah. have. He's not being able to run his game for free. Uh, and uh, it's definitely showing he, he just wants to do the things that he likes to do, but you have to earn it. Yep. Especially yeah. versus a team like this, you have to earn it. He just needs to block more. Mm -hmm. But So he's choosing to block when he doesn't need to, when he can move out. Like when he's in the corner and he creates that space, he can jump out and get out. Yeah. But that's when he's choosing to block heavy. When he's mid-screen and he's getting reflects and stuff, he's not blocking. He's just trying to do something. And that's getting him hit like yeah. here. I would like to see him just chill on round start. Uh, he, he just needs to stop trying to challenge. Got hit again there. He, he just needs to chill out. Oh my god, that almost killed. That does it. And now he's dead, yeah. That was, that, was a, that was smart to tag him there at the end. Because even if he got hit for it, that's a dead character. All right, he does. He definitely has some some mix and soul. So let's let's see what can happen here. He's also, not something you can do here. Oh, what are you doing? Save your boy. You were just chilling there with Winter Soldier. He was just watching Strider get hit. He's not using soul as well as he could. So you he, can. He, yeah, he normally does a lot more. I think the nerves are definitely get hit. Well, even like so, if Strider's in front, you can hold your um, tag button. Teleport with Strider, then start shooting. Now you have mix-up opportunities because Strider will be in a teleport, so he's not going to do anything as you try to start shooting guns. And then once Strider comes back and he can act, then you have your mix-up opportunities because the bullet's coming. There you go. Yeah. He's definitely, he's only, definitely messing up the gun moves a little bit. He needs to throw out some soul surges because if he gets a couple of them, he'll have. You know what? Score. You know what I've noticed? No, no Bucky soul player use soul surges ever on Bucky. They don't. They just don't do it. They, they just have so many other tools that are so impressive on the screen. They just don't think about using soul whip. Uh, but definitely in situations like that, where you're down on life, you have some red health to recover. You need. You need to do it. It doesn't recover past red health, right? Only red health. It just recovers life. It'll give you oh, life. Oh, really? Even if, even if like, you're not bleeding? Oh, that's busted. All right. <laughs> not busted, but that's kind of dumb. I mean... It's not good enough that it's almost a full screen button. Anyway, back, back, to, back to the match here. 
Uh, this is a this is a six game. That's the first time he pulled out that reset this set. Uh, so yeah, I definitely got him too. Uh, but yeah, this is a six game lead for Chris Lent. He's definitely got he's got to be feeling himself here. And there's one thing you do not want to let Christopher Lent do. Oh my God, no. is feel himself. Because <laughs> once he starts getting the feel, this is what happens. This is the reason that some tournaments he will just run through top players. Mm -hmm. Then the next tournament he'll lose to like nobody because if he feels himself, he he will play godlike. Yeah. You can even see it mid set, like first couple matches he's just doing some godlike stuff. He yeah. does one thing wrong and then he starts getting frustrated and yeah. dumb shit. And it doesn't help that Ben Two is just not blocking. No. He's just getting hit. Chris isn't even really doing anything crazy. He's just not blocking. He just Definitely, he just he needs to. I mean, it's it's maybe too little, too late. But if he loses his game, he only has one more. He needs to chill out for a second. Go to character select. Just breathe. You know, you know what this is. Ben Two is just like I'm gonna give you nine games. I want to show you how good I am. Yeah. This is the mind game. Uh, let's hope. Let, let's hope that's the case. For a guy, look at that life. He, he can't. He's he like. Okay, cool. I was gonna say he's not gonna be able to block anything. Hero, uh, Chris, Chris is hero, okay with taking this though. Play what you want. Play what you think will be fun. This game is very free. Yeah, there's there's so definitely. There are things that don't really work. Yeah, there, but there's very few combinations of characters that that you can't find stuff like. There are teams that I've seen people play really well, and I have no idea. He is so dead. Oh, yeah. Level three. Yeah, he's dead. All right. One game away from being $100 wealthier, having that extra change in his pocket. But Ben 2, this is really, really, really steep hill to climb, but this is definitely not over for Ben 2 either. He, he's it. a solid player. He just needs to get a little composure. Chris is trash. All right. I see that that was better for him. Yep. He just he just chilled out. Unfortunately, but, he's getting hit here. Okay, but you notice he still did something else after that grenade yeah. reflect got hit. Grenade reflect. Instead of sitting there and waiting to push a button, he just needed to move. He just needed to, to get out of the situation, reset to neutral, get away from the pressure. And here's this. Good block. Good that block. was wild as hell. That another short another pop, good block. instant overhead, then a cross-up. If he would have done that in a gap, I would have got hit 100%. Yeah, and I think he missed a push block there. I don't think he was trying to press there. I think he did. he's definitely missing some push blocks and he's getting hit for it. At that point, stop push blocking for a minute. Just, just let it rock. Wait yep. wait to confirm the block. It, it sucks sometimes because uh, they you can't quite push him back as effectively, but he, if you're going to get hit for push blocking, you just need to chill it for a minute. Yep. Oh, you like Ven Venom pairs well with a lot of characters. If you like big bodies, just do Dormammu. Yeah. Uh, Airborne plays that team some. And Dormammu Venom's a really, really fun team. You don't happen to be St. Louis, do you here? Or Midwest in general. Or, yeah, scenes, we're Midwest. There's scenes everywhere. Ooh. Springfield. This is how the comeback happens. This is how it starts. Uh, until you drop the combo. There's Springfield in like every state, my man. Springfield, Missouri. Well, if you're willing to travel, we have a very, very uh, decently sized Marvel Infinite scene here. Uh, as you can see, we've got some strong players. So yeah, feel free to always come up to play if you want. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we'll, if you want to join our St. Louis Discord, we can always go play. But back to this match. Mintu is doing a good job. He's blocking. That was a push that, that block. Was a push block. And then he should have killed with that. But uh, that was oh, not that good. Is, that that is not good. Not oh. good. See, this is what happened. We're com we're not commentating. Nathan's coming back. <laughs> and then we start to job. talk about we it again. We talk about the game, and yeah. then he goes to shit. Oh, uh, and that that should be it. Good looking out. That should that be Discord the end of it. Right. Oh no. All right, there it all is. right, man. That's a ten Chris. to two. Chris takes it. Chris over saying, "I am your father. You do not disrespect me." Mm -mm. He was fucking snapping the belt yep. the whole time. Yeah, for sure. He's like, "You are my son. 
I pay the bills. Yeah. You don't change the thermostat. You don't slam my doors. Yeah, he, he got a little he got a little too wordy on Twitter one day, and this is the result. But it's okay. This is how you learn. Yep. You live and learn. But I know he's he's hopefully doesn't hold this loss too close to the heart. He, we still got Marvel Infinite Bracket coming up immediately after this. Uh, for anybody yeah, tuning in, we do have a match Reno for it. Hit exclamation point match Reno. We get all the information for that. We're currently at over a hundred dollars for that. So that's hype. I appreciate you guys giving me money. Yep. And even if you don't have money to give us, there are free things that you can do to support. Yeah. So you can just click a few links. Each one donates to like thirty cents. So you can you can donate up like between like three and five dollars, I think, also uh, just by clicking stream. stuff. Also yeah. Also follow the stream. Yeah. Also follow the stream. This dude, Backlogathon, puts in he's so much work for us here yeah. in St. Louis, and he he's doing this out of the Volunteer. kindness of his heart and maybe some food. And set up, set this whole thing up with the stream and everything. Good, mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. quality stuff. This is for sure. like super nice. Oh yeah. And then of course, Matt McCool, cool guy. Oh Let yeah. Let us use his basement that's as big as a house. Yeah, this is uh, it's a little crazy here. You guys can't really see most of it, uh, but it's it's nuts. But this house is. You can is see nice. on the cameras like behind and in front, and there's a thing to the side. This is a basement. And I'm just chilling There's here in this comfy it's seat. It's a carpeted basement. Oh, yeah. It's a fully finished. And he's got this nice heated saltwater pool in the back. It's and wild. It, yeah, we're, we're, we're white out here. This is mad white. This is bigger than the house. This basement's bigger than the house I grew up in. This basement's bigger than both the apartments I've been living in, been yeah, living in recently. Yeah, so like, but, but yeah, we're going to have some Marvel and Infinite bracket <laughs> coming up here soon. Uh, it should be pretty good. I'm not sure how big the bracket is. Huh? 16, 16 man bracket, I've been told. So Joey believes that nobody is going to take a character. Joey D off believes him. he's not going to not going to lose a character. Right, he's just going to super tag his way to victory. All right, stream. Give me a one if you think Joey will not lose a character in this bracket. Give me a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> if you think he's going to lose Literally a character, any other number. At least a character. Now we're being invaded. Keep in mind, I took a game when I was playing like absolute garbage at Naptown. Woo. We're counting on you to defend St. Louis nah, from the don't, invader. Don't count on me. Drews is going to beat me. Drews is going to get super tagged and die. You don't think Drews can block? I, I think he can't block every time. I don't think anybody can block every time. Not every time. Did you see him playing the gauntlet? Dude was hitting everybody. Don't get there. Yeah, I, I am being beckoned. I will be right back. Huh? We have to play? Me and you? All right. Uh, looks like we're starting our bracket. Yeah, what up? All right, you want me to do it on stream? You want me to do it? Oh, never mind. I'm not going anywhere, I guess. All right, I'm about to play on stream, guys. Let's see. I'm playing cold, so it takes me way too many you, games. You, warm you warmed up a little. I warmed up. I played two games. I, whatever. You're only it, eight, it you're only eight, you're only though, eight so. shy. You just need eight more games, you'll be good. Yeah, All right, yeah, it looks like we're going straight into the Marvel Infinite bracket here. We've got, uh, yeah, Ringer with a three. 